Hey guys, just a quick one on bonnet struts. This is a 120 Prado and the bonnet struts are getting a bit tired. You can see when it starts to come down, you know. Well, actually this is making it look pretty good, but see there, look, we'll just compare before and after. So that's kind of like, you know, oh, it's actually, that's amazing that it's sitting there actually, but that's pretty good. When, she, when, when you open the bonnet, it should get to there and kind of like want to spring up like that. See where I'm like, I've got to keep pushing all the way to the top. Very dangerous. It is a roadworthy requirement that the bonnet stays up safely. If someone's working on it, they could have their fingers at the side of the guard or be under the bonnet. And if the wind blows, it could blow down and obviously uh, cause a serious injury. So we're going to, by the end of the video, we'll show you the part numbers for the 120 Prado. If you want to use the genuine ones, you can get some aftermarket types. People have had problems with Chinese ones breaking and not lasting and whatever. You know what I say? Look, these are still working at 12 years old. So they are a bit pricier, the genuine ones, but if you get them at the right price, um, I think the fact that you know they're going to last and work well for 12 years is pretty good. I'm prepared to pay that penalty to uh, do the same again. 12 years is a long time. So we're going to quickly go through changing these. It's a pretty simple job, but we'll do it anyway for those that want to know how we do it and how we get around it. So first thing we're going to do is, well, pop the light up here. And I'm going to use a broomstick because generally a broomstick, it doesn't scratch the car. I'm here on my own. Well, I'm not here on my own, but I'm here on my own for the job to show you how to do it on our own. So I'm just sitting one end of the broomstick up under there and the other one just uh, on the bull bar, just behind the um, light bar here. So that pretty well, well, that wasn't very good, was it? That didn't work out. So look, I'll try and find a better, <laughs> better place so that it works where we can lock it in, Eddie. Right, and that's... It's not kind of locked in, it doesn't matter at the moment, we can adjust it afterwards. We're going to do one side at a time, but beware, one side, one side won't stay up on its own. Now, I'll grab some tools ready. If I remember correctly, we need a 12 mil to undo the, on the 120, it's like a nut here, and another one there, and we're going to get those off on it. On the new ones come without the ball in the strut, so we're going to install the ball. That's where we need the broomstick handy to hold it, because... We'll put the ball in, we'll tighten those up, then we need to go and grab the strut to clip it in if we're, uh, you know, if we didn't have it right next to us, whatever. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we've got this side, you know, loose, and you can see the bonnet's not falling. The stick did fall because I pushed the bonnet up, and if I push the bonnet up, it'll fall again. So it's important to set your broomstick at the right level so that it takes the load off the thread so you can screw them in and out. And um, and then once you get to the end, the stick, obviously, if you've pushed it up slightly to get the load onto the broomstick, then the bonnet, will always be ready to catch it, right? But look, it's, it's there, nobody's touching it. There's no wind blowing, we're inside out of the wind. So let's get the new, see these little balls on the end here, right? So these little balls on the new ones, they're not in there. So we're going to get the new ones and mount them in the hole. All right, guys, so as you can see, I quickly zipped the bottom one in, the top one in, just nicely secured, and these just pop in pretty, should be pretty straightforward. Ready, set, right, simple as that, clipped in. They're a one-way thing, they're not coming out again. If you pulled hard enough, it might come out, but I wouldn't like to try your luck with that. We'll move the uh, broomstick out the way, and obviously the bonnet should stay up. Let's try pulling it down now it is harder to pull it down so it's an improvement but you can certainly tell that you know I was going to say can you get away with doing one see from there it wants to fall right so from there it wants to fall this is kind of telling me what happens with these usually one's worse than the other that wasn't a massive improvement so I'm sort of thinking that the driver's one might be better than the passenger one and the passenger one's probably pretty average so let's get over there and try change that one and see if that makes a bigger difference
All right, so as you can see, we removed the old one again, fitted the new ball joints into there. Make sure you get it the right way up. <laughs> it's pretty easy to click them in. And they come pre-greased. There is some grease there that will go. So with, uh, with this, I will lift the bonnet up a little bit and then click it in. So you just click in. Make sure it's not coming out. Make sure the clips are good, yeah. Happy days. So we should be able to... Happy days. I haven't used that for a while, have I? Happy days. Right, obviously it stays up. That's a bonus. Now let's move the light and pull the bonnet. So it's not... Some of the aftermarket ones, actually, see, you know what? These old ones, I don't think they were too bad. I think I changed them too soon. That's what I'm talking about, preventative maintenance. So these ones, they're barely, actually, they're not even pushing the bonnet up. So the new genuine ones, they're not crazy like the aftermarket ones. We fitted some, uh, I think we fitted some Repco brand ones, might have fitted some Monroe ones, and there's all these other brands. You can get them regassed. Perhaps getting the genuine ones regassed is the best option because what happens... With the aftermarket ones, I've noticed, um, the bonnet can be a real animal to... you, you got to really... Uh, to pull it down. So I'm a bit uh, surprised with these. <laughs> it hasn't had a massive difference. Pretty expensive when it doesn't make a big difference, does it? Look at that. So what I'm going to do is proceed to check the old ones. Um, I think the proof's right here that the old ones weren't too bad. Look, they hold the bonnet up, but... See from that point there, it's not like pushing itself up, is it? So, I suppose this is a demonstration, unless your bonnet's falling down. Um, yeah, maybe they need a bit of pumping. I don't know. You know, uh, not exactly impressed, to be honest. I don't know how that's going to work out for a video for to add a genuine parts. But anyway, um, let's just grab the old ones while we're here. Side by side, I'm just pushing them on down. On you know, generally new ones, new ones you won't be able to push down real easy, and you know you can compare. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going to compare, and they're not as they're, they're pretty even. They're not too bad actually. They're, the new ones were harder to push down. I've got some other old ones here. That I've kept the best of the two, if you know what I mean. So when I replace them, I, I keep the best of the two. But every time I've replaced them, people have gone for aftermarket. And they've been the types that they really push the bonnet up hard and leave it, can leave it even sitting high, the edge of the bonnet higher than the guard. And you don't want that. So just doing a bit of R&D here. I'd say I've got a few good struts that are not too bad. I'll just check one more. Yeah, I reckon I've got a couple here that are better than mine that I took off. Anyway, I think they're pretty cheap to regas, so might be worth getting them regassed if, and then you've still got your genuine struts. Anyway, guys, hope that's helped. We're out of here. If you haven't already, please subscribe, turn the bell on, and give us a thumbs up if you got something out of that. I did. Waste of money. See ya.